In today's video, I'd like to talk about a trade setup that's currently triggering inside of Applied Materials. That's ticker symbol AMAT. Now, this trade setup looks particularly good on both the daily and the weekly time frame charts, and that's using data. On the daily time frame chart, using the two triggers that we currently have, our back tester over the past five years shows us that this signal has been a winner six out of six times that it's triggered. So on the daily time frame chart, we have some nice bias there. On the weekly time frame chart right here, we had a similar signal that triggered a few weeks ago now. That signal is still active, and that signal too on the weekly time frame chart back tests well with three winners and zero losers. For all Volatility Box members, in case you'd like to download the back tester to follow along with this video, all you need to do is go to tosindicators.com slash squeeze hyphen course, scroll all the way down here, and you can find all the tools I'll be talking about. The slingshot squeeze, the squeeze signals, along with each of the particular back testers with these labels. So you can use that to not only follow along, but also repeat the same process on all of the different stocks which have currently triggered on our scan uh, from today's end results. Now let's start with applied materials here, but start with our weekly time frame chart first, and we'll narrow down our focus down to the daily time frame. Now on the weekly time frame, we had a squeeze signal that triggered now, I believe, back in November. This was November 1st. So it's been some time as of making this video. It's currently December 15th. So a few weeks have passed by. And in those few weeks, if I zoom in here, you'll see Applied Materials has just pulled back to the 8 EMA. And now it looks like we're starting to get going away from the 8 EMA. And it looks very much like a classic squeeze pattern. The squeeze has been increasing momentum, pull back to the moving averages while they're stacked. We'd expect this squeeze to fire long. Now, using statistics here, every single time the cyan arrow signal has triggered on the weekly time frame over the past 20 years, it's been a winner. It's happened three times, three out of those three times winners. Average trade duration, which is four weeks, so we're a little bit greater than that right now in terms of above average. We would expect the squeeze to start to fire fairly quickly here, just given the fact that we expect this number to somewhat revert to the mean. The average winner uh, has been 11.99% per trade. So that too suggests that we expect to see a little bit more upside, 11.99% from our actual entry. Extrapolated takes us to a price of somewhere close to that 170 region, let's call it. So 170, if we draw a price level there, is where off of the weekly time frame chart, that would be our target just using our back testers average gain. So we can say weekly target level 11.99% from entry. And then if we make this green, that can be the first line that gets on our charts and we may need to actually shorten this out too long. So we'll say plus 11.99%. Okay, so this is off of our weekly time frame chart. Now, if we come inside of our daily time frame here, on our daily time frame, we have the squeeze where momentum is still below zero, and as a result, we've had a few slingshot squeeze signals that have currently triggered. Now, the first signal triggered on December 8th, I believe, or December 7th, excuse me, and using that day's signal, that's our entry price. So the back tester currently has an entry price, if we open up the report, of 156.89. Our current entry inside of Applied Material is 153.66, meaning that you have a better entry price by what right around $3 and some change, $3.20, uh, compared to the back tester. So that's yet another edge that you have in terms of even what the data suggests. Now, using the slingshot squeeze, six winners, zero losers over the past five years, Average winner, 6.59%. Average loser, of course, did not exist. And our average trade duration, 6.5 days. Even on that, we're currently exceeding that 6.5 days, considering the trade triggered on December 7th. Now, if we repeat the same exercise here, 6.59% from the close price in which the signal actually triggered, takes us to a price of right around uh, 167 inside of the daily time frame chart. So if we draw a similar price level here, let's just duplicate this, bring this down a tad. And we can edit this to say 167, and then this is going to be our daily target level, and this is a plus 6.59% from our entry using the back tester. Now both of these give us a zone, and that zone is where, uh, at least the back testers say, we expect this trade to start to stall out. 
Now if we zoom out here, let's try and see if we have any Fibonacci extensions or anything of that sort that we can run to give us additional clues. Now most recently we have our swing high to our swing low, so let's go ahead and use that, and this is off of our daily time frame chart. We'll take our swing high, I'll take our swing low, and let's see where our overlap happens. The one overlap that to me looks like a perfect sort of overlap is that 1618 with the weekly time frame level 170.11. So 170 so far has a nice confluence area. Our daily target takes us really in between that 1272 and uh, 1618 at that 167. So this gives you some context of where each of these levels plays if you were to use Fibonacci. Now zooming out here, our actual trade exit using our back tester is that first green dot in which the squeeze actually fires. Now if we wanted to test out, hey, does riding momentum do a slightly better job, we can actually test that. So if I change no squeeze to losing momentum, click apply, let's see what happens to the results here. Six winners, zero losers, that trade percentage jumped up to 8.9%. So if we now extrapolated 8.9% here from our actual closing price, that should, I think, take us a little bit closer to that 1618 as well, right? Yep, very close to that 1618. So, so far, that 1618 is acting as the magnet, especially if on the daily, you ride out the momentum uh, instead of just getting out the second the squeeze fires. Same thing if we repeat on the weekly time frames back tester here. So if we change our no squeeze to be losing momentum, our 11.99% jumps up to 21.24%. So that's something quite extraordinary, which tells us that, hey, riding out the momentum on the weekly time frame chart has traditionally been a much better proposition over the same three trades uh, instead of getting out when the squeeze fires. Now, again, for all Volatility Box members, you can play around with these tools, test out different entries, test out different exits, and repeat that same process every single day for all of the stocks that meet all of our scan criteria. Up top here, I have our squeeze signal scan. Down below, I have our slingshot squeeze scans. And you'll see you have plenty of uh, stock candidates every single day to try and repeat this process and use data to pick and choose the very best stocks that you'd like to put your capital to work inside of. All right, hope this video was helpful in showing you how to use the back tester to tweak and test a few different things, as well as share an actual setup inside of applied materials and particular target zones where some nice confluences are happening. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and we'll see you in the next update.